Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Update 7 Patch hey, Notes video. Hey, Buckarito, how you doing, buddy? What's up? It's your line. We're doing the Patch Notes video. Are we? Mm hmm Oh, uh, what do I say? I, I, I told you, like, three minutes ago. You told me? Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> Check out the video, it's gonna be sick! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Jesus Woo. Christ. Hey, Snow, what are you doing? Shh, calm down, mate. I'm stalking my pride. This is a real beaut over there. And I want to get my grow little paws on it. What? Why? Crikey, mate. Haven't you heard? There are bonds and rewards for TNA and up to seven now, you bloody drongo. <laughs> is this an Australian accent? Did you just really call me a bloody drongo? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to chuckle bubbly, mate. I'm a true blue, rigid ditch, fair dinkum Aussie. Just like you. Mate, stop. All right, watch and learn. I'll show you how to do a real Australian accent. Howdy, partner. My name's Jason. I'm going to tell you all about the exploration rewards changes. Previously, the only way to get fix-it coupons was by sinking factory items in an awesome sink. But in Update 7, you can also sink alien DNA capsules, previously known as organic data capsules, for coupons to make your time spent hunting more worth your while. The alien DNA capsules have their own point and coupon accumulation system, which means this feature does not interfere with regular factory item sinking in the awesome sink. Oh, that's what an Australian accent sounds like. Yeah, dude, so my rash has just been flaring up again. It started out like Madagascar, it's more like Greece now. You should get that checked out. Ah! Oh, Jeez, ah! watch out! No! Ah! 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 I got it off me! Ah! It's coming right for us! Ah! It's good, no! What? That's a bloodthirsty killer, that is! Ah! You're right! But it doesn't have to be this way. Because in Update 7, we're introducing game modes. Right, I forgot. So people have been asking for game modes such as creative mode, peaceful mode, and even hardcore mode since day one. And we're glad to be introducing game modes in Update 7. However, we are not adding everything right away. For the moment, we're only introducing game mode settings that affect the hostility of the local fauna, aka peaceful mode. You can set them to be completely passive or to only retaliate when attacked first. We're planning to add more game modes in the future, but in the meantime, I better set things to passive. I really hope that guy being attacked is okay. Whoever they were. Eh, they'll be fine. You ready, Snit? Uh, no. I, I think I'm missing a page from the script. Oh, uh, did the lizard doggo eat it? I don't know, but uh, yeah, I don't remember my line. Do, do, you, do you have a copy of the script? No, I don't, but it's just, it's just the conveyor belt part. Yeah, 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 but like... I want to get the exact wording right. Uh, it doesn't matter, just wing it, man. It doesn't, no, it's no big deal. No big deal? Dude, I poured blood and sweat into every single word in the script, all right, to create that maximum impact for our audience because they deserve it, all right? I'm just gonna, I'm not just gonna wing it like some amateur, all right? I'll check over here, okay. Hey man, I think you left a page of the script on the uh, counter over there. Oh, thanks? Yeah, for the conveyor belt. Uh-huh, uh, all right, ready? Sure. <clears throat> In update seven, conveyor belts are gooder. Conveyor belts are one of the most placed billables in the game. So it makes sense to us to make them as convenient as possible. Conveyor belts can now be placed on ceilings to give you more options for how you want to construct your factories. And conveyor belt placement now dynamically switches to the correct attachment when aiming conveyor belts on the floor, wall, and ceiling. All of this also applies to my personal favorite feature in the game, pipes. I was always a believer of pipes since day one. I love pipes. Hey Jace, there seems to be something strange going on. Peculiar, kind of curious. Oh, you've noticed. Dude, everyone's noticed. There's literally a Jace sitting right over there. Hello. Actually, mm, actually, it'd be easier to show you. We need to go to the attic. The attic? Top floor, correct them. And try to secrete bomb the nose. We made it to the top floor. Now I wonder where that door could be. Kill me. Are you serious? All the way up there? Dude, this office is huge. And I am sick and tired of climbing and walking up all those stairs. And zip lining upwards is always so slow. Not an update seven there, not. Ziplines just got zippier with a new zipline sprint mode. Just like sprinting on the ground, you will now go faster if you hold sprint while ziplining. 
The zipline sprint speed will increase over time, so this is better when used over longer duration zips, for example, when ziplining large distances or when ziplining vertically. What's the maximum speed, Jace? No idea, but let's find out on our way to the attic. Oh boy, it's really dark in here. Yeah. And it seems like the power is out. We're gonna need some juice. <laughs> Absolutely! <laughs> not that not that kind of juice. Oh. Yeah. We need power. Right. Uh, well, I can go and overclock the generator. Do you got any power shards on you? I don't. Um, but I did see some in the fridge earlier. Oh yeah, right. Uh, but they had, they had Simon's name on it. Did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, he went mind. I'll go get it. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, while, while Jace goes get the power shards, maybe I can talk a little bit about overclocking in Update 7. The power consumption of overclocking is getting a bit of a rebalance. The change is fairly simple, but it is certainly worth knowing for those of you out there who like to crunch numbers and get your setups perfectly efficient. Mathematically, we're reducing the exponent of the power requirements. In layman's terms, this means that overclocking requires less power than before, but underclocking saves less power. Overclocking on power generators has changed too and is now more straightforward. Power production gains will now be at the same rate as your overclocking, so when you overclock to 200%, you will now get 200% of your base power production. Nuclear power plants will also use less water now to accommodate for these changes, making fully overclocked nuclear power plants actually viable now. All right, I'm back. Whoa. What do you think? What, what is that thing? Well, Snut, allow me to introduce you to the Blueprint Designer. Y'all have been asking for something like this for a long time, and here we are introducing Blueprints. Build layouts can now be saved and configured within a module with a maximum dimension of 32 cubic meters. These Blueprints can then be constructed wherever you want, making time-consuming build configurations much easier. Blueprints will need to be created in the Blueprint Designer, as you can't take an existing factory layout and slap that into a Blueprint. The limited space makes it so that you'll have to come up with and plan out ways in how you assemble and combine your blueprints, and we think this will quite drastically change how you plan out your factory designs. Blueprints will also be saved into their own blueprint file on your hard drive. This means that blueprints will be available to all of your save files, assuming you have unlocked the required research to place them and can be shared with others. However, they will unfortunately not take advantage of cloud storage, so be mindful of that if you're hopping between PCs. Neat. Could be bigger. Uh-huh. So yeah, dude, I don't even work anymore. The clones just kind of do everything. They just work like one day a month, and I just chill and play RuneScape. What do they eat? Each other. I just make new ones. Huh. I want to try. All right. You guys ready? Update 7 is now available on the Early Access branch. For a full set of patch notes, check the description below. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. Hope you enjoy Update 7. Vamanos! Simon's name.